Hello, and welcome to Financial Fluence, where we'll teach you the most up-to-date strategies and tricks for making money online. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to be notified every time a new video is uploaded. Also, don't forget to leave a comment down below. In this video, I'm going to teach you the four most crucial financial principles, which are the cornerstones of being financially independent, financially secure, and financially educated. As long as you're motivated and hungry, these straightforward guidelines I'll provide you with today will improve your financial situation and lead you to a level you've never experienced. A financially literate person has the abilities and knowledge to handle their finances. It's also called financial literacy and it's vital for success. Financial freedom and independence can help you improve your personal and financial life. It means you want financial independence from your family, your job, or a business you despise. I also want you to grasp financial confidence. Financial freedom is different. This is so because financial security is based on your ability to earn an income, whereas freedom depends on the amount of money you have available. Many individuals think money is scarce. They think there's no money and they can't earn more. However, this is wholly untrue. Money is everywhere in the world, but only those with the right abilities can get their hands on it. Money has a lot of laws that you must abide by, just like in a game. It is assured that if you follow the rules, you will take control of your financial situation. The fact that all of this information is getting more and more accessible every day, for very little money or even for nothing, is actually quite intriguing and a few Google searches will give you access to everything. Therefore, even if everything was available to them instantly, more than 90% of people are still financially illiterate. Unfortunately, there are many people in today's society who lack financial literacy. But the truth is that anyone can become wealthy if they can break a few poor habits and adopt a wealthy mindset. Except for individuals who were fortunate enough to inherit a large sum of money or win the lottery, there are no wealthy people who are financially illiterate. However, data suggests that 70% of lottery winners go bankrupt after only a few years of being extraordinarily wealthy. How come? Again, it all boils down to one's level of financial literacy. Even if you are wealthy, you will still make poor choices and end up losing everything because you won't know what to do with it. Therefore, you must become financially educated if you want to become wealthy over the long term rather than just for a few years. You must educate yourself because sadly, this type of education is not offered in schools. Therefore, given that all the knowledge is readily available, why don't people study more about finance? Despite the fact that financial education is quite affordable and, in some circumstances, absolutely free, there are two main reasons why people don't receive it. Reason number one, conventional wisdom. Financial education isn't widely accepted. Most individuals will develop a sense of scarcity in you, and with the incorrect perspective, you'll never make money. As a child, you may have heard that money doesn't grow on trees and money is the source of all evil. These lies that parents tell their children prevent people from making the required changes to their financial situation. Debt's negative connotation is another incorrect notion. Even if debt isn't so bad, if you know how to use it, people despise it because they lack education. People that know how to make money can provide you with financial advice, so pay attention to them. In a sport like skiing, you want to learn from an expert, not a beginner. You'll pick this up pretty quickly if you put it to use in your financial education. Reason number two, self-esteem and comfort zone. Rich people believe you must be confident to make money. Positive self-image requires believing you deserve money and happiness. You won't get rich otherwise. Imagine being affluent as a self-fulfilling prophecy. You're confident charming and rich mental image will give you the confidence to act outside your comfort zone. A very successful person once said, most individuals are not successful because they are terrified of success. You must take risks and leave your comfort zone if you want to succeed. For instance, if you want to launch your first business but lack the funds, 
you may first need to face the risk of applying for a loan from your bank and incurring thousands of dollars in debt, which is outside the financial comfort zone of many people. Charisma and confidence are required for wealth. Without confidence, you won't become wealthy. Before learning about finances, you must first develop a risk-taking mindset and self-confidence. Confident people take risks and perform well under pressure. Now that you know why people lack financial education and its importance, let's discuss the four most important recommendations. Rule number one, don't invest in what you don't understand. Investing is important if you want to expand your money. Working for someone else will never make you rich. You must begin investing. The most important investment is in yourself, not equities, bonds, real estate, or FX. Self-invest first. Invest in your mind, body, and other money-making assets. Business skills, especially financial education, are necessary. Your industry and sector will consume you if you don't keep up. Keep abreast of all the information that is important to your success and to you. Invest money in your company if you start a business or acquire one. You'll undoubtedly want to grow it eventually. To accomplish so, invest in your company's growth. It runs on gasoline like a car. A company needs financial backing to grow. Company investments include new product development, research, and marketing. Whatever investment you choose, know what you're doing. Be careful who you listen to. Do considerable study before investing or consult a professional, preferably one with money at stake, for advice. Never invest without understanding. Rule number two, debt is a deadly but effective weapon. Debt significance is underrated, though arguable. Those who use it well will flourish while those who fear it will miss out on opportunities. Debt is good or harmful. Anything you can't pay off, like student loans, is bad debt. This makes many individuals sad and ruins their finances. Be careful and only go into debt if you know what you're doing. 18-year-olds shouldn't make financial decisions involving hundreds of thousands of dollars without thinking about the repercussions. Good debt will both make you money and be paid off, or for which you have a plan. Use debt to grow your riches. For instance, you might need a loan to launch your firm. If everything goes according to plan, you'll be able to pay off your debt and expand your business, as long as you are consistently making your payments on time. Rule number three, think rich. Being wealthy is a result of thinking and acting wealthy. In essence, you're pretending to be wealthy which may entail living beyond your means. Living within your means is a protective idea popularized by financial gurus that, for the most part, is sound advice. After all, the majority of individuals get into significant financial difficulties by living beyond their means. You must spend your money on things that give you confidence and make you feel good, as long as you are disciplined and intelligent with your money. Do you truly believe that depriving yourself of a few Starbucks coffees will make you wealthy? Start learning new talents that will earn you money to maintain your preferred lifestyle rather than living below your means and making small savings here and there. Your perspective will be drastically changed by this one tip and you'll begin to recognize possibilities and areas where you can make money. Rule number four, improve your skills to amass assets. Liabilities are items that take money out of your pocket, whereas assets put money in your wallet. Your greatest asset is your brain, which you can enhance to make you even more valuable. There are certain abilities that are in high demand, and they all share two characteristics. One, they offer the market a lot of value. And two, you earn a lot of money from them. Therefore, instead of working for someone else, Start honing your skills so that you can earn money on the side just by producing outcomes for the market. Choose what best suits your abilities and learn your first high-paying skills to acquire the resources needed to accumulate increasing amounts of assets. And to summarize what I've discussed in this video, the two main reasons why people don't get the financial education they need are reason number one, conventional wisdom, and reason number two, comfort zone and self-esteem. 
And the four most important rules of being financially educated are don't invest in what you don't understand. Debt is a deadly but effective weapon. Think rich. And lastly, improve your skills to amass assets. And that's all. What are your thoughts on these? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy similar stuff, check out my other videos. And if you like it, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell. And I'll see you in the next video.